Welcome to this week's Nerd Cave Gaming Throwback Thursday Let's Play. I am Derek Diamond, and we will be once again venturing into the world of Pikmin, one of my favorite Nintendo GameCube games and arguably the most underrated GameCube game of all time, if you want to know my opinion. Uh, where we last left off, we had just started venturing into the Forest of Hope. We found the Yellow Pikmin, and we are going to go right back and grab ourselves a few more parts of the dolphin. So what we're going to do, um, we're obviously going to clear a few places, uh, like that rock wall back there. Um, what you'll want to do is, at least in my opinion, spend a good bit of the first day building your Pikmin, as well as uh, clearing any paths like these walls here that we knocked down previously. So we're going to grab, uh, let's say we'll do 20 yellow pigment. And then we'll do 30, we'll do 36, so we'll have 40 out in the field. Um, you'll want to spend a good majority of the time uh, on the first day kind of stocking up on Pikmin knocking down these walls like we did here um, and of course fighting enemies so that way you don't have to worry about them um, in days to come. They do respawn after a couple of days and you'll notice that whenever we come back to uh, the Forest of Hope after we get the blue Pikmin. So let's see. Fight these little mole thingies here. And the darker ones do bite. Um, they do kill your Pikmin. I call these guys off. We don't want to carry them off just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go off to the side here. Get right behind this bulb orb here. And we're just going to swarm him. And if you keep doing that, you'll notice that he won't even have time to try and attack your Pikmin. So if you go in with a large number and you just swarm him, you'll have a very easy time fighting these enemies. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back, we're going to get some bomb rocks. Well, you just killed, well no, you didn't quite kill the tree, thankfully. Alright, so let's see. Grab these three rocks here. One thing that I've learned the hard way with these bomb rocks, whenever you separate the yellow Pikmin that have the bomb rocks, never use the whistle to call them back because they'll just drop their rocks and once they do, um, they'll explode. So definitely do not ever do that because I lost about 20 Pikmin in one sitting by doing that and it was awful. One thing I always try to do is I try to never leave any Pikmin behind. Well, you can carry that back. Alright, so let's go back over here in the clearing. our bomb rock friends. Do some nice camera movements. Alright, 14. There is a part back there that we can get, but the more important thing right now is that we bomb this wall. Which I believe will only take three. Yep. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll go back here. Separate them again. Again. 
and it takes nine to knock down that dark colored wall that we just passed. So what we'll do is we'll take two. Throw them there. go back and grab our other friends. Which, oh, there's the radar up there. I believe that only takes 10. Wow, 20. Alright. path out here. See how many it takes to carry this thing. It's the Extraordinary Bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it is of extraordinary quality that is indiscernible to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret. But just look at it. Extraordinary. Yeah, we're going to need more than that for sure. So we'll come back. This is a very important part because now we can look at the map and see where other parts are in the field and also if we have any Pikmin that are idle, you can see them by the glowing dots, um, red for red Pikmin, blue for blue, and yellow for yellow. And two more should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. So I have 55. 30. Alright. Now let's go back and we'll get the Extraordinary Bolt. I'm not sure if that's one of the required parts or not. I don't think it is. For those who aren't worried about 100% completion, there are, I believe, five parts that are not required for you to be able to leave the planet. So say if you're still exploring and once day 30 hits and expires, Olimar tries to leave regardless. So um, there's, a li there's five parts. I want to say the bolt is one of them but I do not remember. We'll go ahead and pick these bad boys. Yeah. 
and now we have the Extraordinary Bolt. This Bolt's Bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. Now recovered 4 out of 30 parts, if I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. See if I have 20 blue pick. Yeah, not blue, yellow, excuse me. to nighttime. Found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. Not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. can make that in time, but we'll try. We'll give it a good old college try, as they say, but I've got the feeling that I didn't throw enough up there. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. Recovered 5 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Yay! I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but I'm going to try. Gotta hurry. Worst case scenario, I'll have all the Pikmin with me if I can't make this.
The shock absorber, this apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's, used, it's smooth sailing with this in place, usually. Come on, you guys can make it. Ah, oh, they're stuck. Didn't quite get that last part, but when we come back, that can be something that we just grab really quickly. I hope I didn't leave any behind. Seems like I say that every day. Oh no, I left one behind. Oh no. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock car carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X, or when I grab one for a moment by holding A. I uh, left behind one. That's unfortunate. We shall save. And next we're going to go to the Forest Naval to grab the blue Pikmin. My personal favorite. A little biased because blue's my favorite color, but I mean, they can do something that to me is very valuable, and that's go in water. The forest naval. Alright, first thing we're gonna do. We'll go with about 30. Knock down this wall here. We'll go with 25. Start building these here bridges. And while they're doing that, I am going to go find the blue Pikmin. of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pitman can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. Well, he's technically in the water now. So, smart thinking there, Olimar. Build up our blue Pikmin army. Right. 
trying to remember how many it takes to get that part over there. I want to say it's 15. But we can most certainly find out. Follow me, Blue Pikmin. Number one, Ionium Jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odiferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Oh, I was right, it was 15. So they'll carry that through the water. There's the other four. No. You stay. All about getting those bridges built. Check our radar and see where oh, the blue pigment are just about there. See, this is an example of the map. All these striped areas there, that's water. And the stars are the ship parts. There we are. Now recovered six out of 30 parts. If I can find just six more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Still dragging that beetle?
The automatic gear, this thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Come on, there we go. That wasn't too bad. little cheap shot. Let's see what in the world happened over here. There's the gear. Thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. Now I covered seven of 30 parts. If I can find just five more, should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. That works too. Space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. Now how many will that take though? Uh, I already know what it is. 25. Alright, let's see here. No. No, 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 no. Alright. Let's separate these. Thank <laughs> you. 
so that is done. them to get that part. Never mind. in time. He's going to be left behind. This could very well be a disaster. Sorry, yellow guy. I think I made it in time. Well, see, that's what happens when you try and do too many things. And that's like 30-something red Pikmin right there. going to be brutal. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. Wonders of nature never cease to stun me even in this alien land. Ah, uh, left 22 behind. That's brutal. Ugh. Well, that is not good. Well, unfortunately, on a sad note, we are going to have to end this week's throwback thursday let's play we will be venturing back into the world of pikmin very soon but until then you can check out all our other let's plays <clears throat> excuse me on our gaming channel nerd cave gaming we also have our other channel at nerd cave where we do our reaction videos and anything nerd pop culture related which you can check out our various podcasts throughout the week and also find us on social media we're on twitter and instagram at nerd cave vids and also on Facebook under Nerd Cave. So on behalf of everyone else in the Nerd Cave, this is Derek saying, have a week.